Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Technofiber TF40-305-1820. Technofiber offers a subtle update to this TF40. The same great control remains thanks to the racket's dense string bed and RS sharp section frame geometry. The racket is foam filled for a plush feel and as with previous versions, players can expect excellent connection to the ball. The racket features an average strung weight of 11.4 ounces, a 328 swing weight, and a 64 RA stiffness. This is a play test that's very close to my heart because the previous version of this racket is my racket of choice. And right from the get-go, I enjoyed a lot of control, a lot of feel on the ball from the new version. I found a slightly crisper response from this one. So the ball was, uh, I felt like getting in and out of the string bed a little quicker, whereas with my older one, I'm just carrying the ball through my swing a little longer. Um, and I'm not sure if that's due mostly from updates from Technofiber or just the fact that my rackets have a lot of fatigue on, have they been on the stringing machine and out on the court for many, many times. So uh, slight difference in playability from old versus new for me, but still a ton of control and feel. I was able to work my angles really well, get the ball dialed into my targets, up at net, great feel again, super connected to where my shots were going. And then on serve for me, this racket comes through nice and quick, so I can still get good pace, good spin on the ball, and again, a lot of control, so I'm finding my targets, serving consistently with it. So really fun play test for me, really enjoyed this one, I'm gonna keep hitting it, and I'm keeping it in rotation. I was on the previous play test of the TF4305-1820, and I have to say, it really felt familiar out on court. Uh, like Chris, I think for me, if there were anything that I noticed that was slightly different, it was a slightly crisper feel. Still though, felt plenty comfortable on all of my shots. Uh, as a flat ball hitter, I love a racket with an 18 uh, tight string pattern just because I feel like uh, my shots can be very direct and they're gonna go where I expect them to go. And that was definitely the case with this TF40. Uh, I really enjoyed hitting my backhand slice with this racket. They were staying nice and low and skidding well through the court. As I move forward to net, uh, I liked the um, nice, stable and comfortable feel. Again, just nice and direct with my shots. This time around, I felt a little bit more successful with my serve than the previous version. I've been working on that shot, so I felt like I was getting into uh, points at a nice neutral stance rather than right on the defensive because I typically like serves, like rackets can help me out in the uh, power department on serve. Overall for me, I really like this racket. It fits my flat hitting style very well. If there were one thing for my own personal taste is I would like the swing, plate, swing weight to come down just a little bit. Here today to talk about the new update to Technofiber's TF40305, still with the 18 main. If you're looking for a virtually seamless transition from the prior model, which I'm very familiar with as well, you're gonna get that. On the other hand, if you're looking for maybe a little more crisper feel, a little extra put away power, not like a wild energy return of a pure drive layup of graphite, but you're gonna get it with this racket. So along with the mass base power and the pinpoint precision of an 1820 uh, string pattern, this is a very predictable and obedient racket. I've been taken to the woodshed many, many times by Chris here, so I had to get a better idea of what this racket's really gonna offer a player. Definitely, a, I'm a counter puncher. If you're an all court aggressive player or you wanna modify this racket, this stick is definitely gonna be a great one for you. Lastly, I most enjoyed this racket with an edgy string. Everyone knows I've got a pretty loopy swing path on my forehand wing, so I'll occasionally uh, have shot depth issues. And as soon as I have an edgy string and an 18 main racket like this one, that cures the whole thing. So I was really able to control the ball, shape my shots with enough arc. And again, like everyone else mentioned, the backhand slice was just dialed in nicely. Great play test overall. First time I hit with this racket was halfway through a hitting session uh, and the transition was seamless. Uh, despite it being a little lighter than I typically prefer and having a closed pattern, uh, after just a few minutes, I felt like I could really keep the ball low over the net um, and hit smaller targets than I typically aim for. Um, so this racket for me was all about confidence. Um, so when I play a confident game uh, and I can stay aggressive, uh, that's when I'm playing my best tennis. And with this racket, it allowed me to the control, the feel, and the comfort uh, to do that on a consistent basis. Um, up at net, same thing. Um, volleys, I really felt confident in placement, as well as just sticking the volley and trying to put it deep in the court and put the shot away. Serving, I do prefer an open pattern, uh, so I would have liked a little bit more spin on my kick and slice serves, but overall I could still feel like I could, you know, I could hold serve without too much issue. Uh, returns were my favorite part of this frame. Uh, I felt like I could guide the ball, again, just smaller targets um, and really stay on the offensive. Um, so overall, really positive play test, great frame. For the video shoot today, we have both rackets strung up at 52 pounds, one with razor code, 
white and the other one with 4S. For more information on this racket or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only.